Right now, we have one race left in Group B of the Pooch Women's America's Cup. These are the invited teams. And the form boat today has been the Swedish Challenge powered by Artemis. They are three from three from one to go. They're a lock. They are a lock for the semi-finals. So too are Yayo Team Dutch Sail. But who is going to get that third spot? And do Team Australia, as we are advised by our statistics team, need to finish just quite simply too clear in the next race of Sail Team Barcelona. Aussie's hanging back, hoping just to nail the start line at pace. It is the last race in Group B of the Pooch Women's America's Cup, and there's one spot in the semi-finals on the line. Is it Sail Team Barcelona or Andu Team Australia? Sail Team Barcelona, just a little wobble off the foils there just before the start, so just drop back a little bit, but still just nose clear. The Dutch team, the Swedes getting fired out of the cannon. Dutch team have done well up this beat. They have hung in with the Swedish. They're learning quickly. Real battle is between Andu Team Australia, though, and the locals. Sail Team Barcelona, these two teams battling it out for that final third position. Top three cut. Australians needing to put at least a boat between themselves and local team, so a lot of pressure. The Dutch team, the Swedes, sailing into some great pressure coming into the top mark. So this is the final race of Group B in the Push Women's America's Cup, and it's a, a familiar two that are at the front of the fleet. This time it's Yayo Team Dutch Sail around first, leading the Swedish Challenge, and then it's AC Team Germany. Maybe they are the spoiler. Who knows? Remember, Andrew Team Australia have to finish two points clear of Sail Team Barcelona if they want to make the semi-finals on Friday. And it's Sail Team Barcelona leading around Andrew Team Australia. So no change at the... Oh! And through the waves go Yago Team Dutch out of the bottom gate to complete the halfway mark in race number eight, Group B. Perch Women's America's Cup. Then, as you can see, South Team Barcelona ripping in in that third position. This is a... Oh, this is a huge race for South Team Barcelona. As we see it now on our numbers... They are in the three, as you can see, in Sail Team Germany. Whoa, they're going to touch down big time. This came around with absolutely zero main, main sheet tension on their boat, completely out of balance on board Team Germany. Australians. So, so the question here now is, right, they're, they're quite some way behind. Wow. Uh, Sail Team Barcelona, can, can they get ahead of them? That's the big question. We marvelled on day one how much the Dutch improved with each race, and it is the same now. Looking so much smoother than the beginning of the day, learning so quickly. So heading to the top gate, leg number three, the penultimate leg of race eight. And Yayo Team Dutch Sally, you can see the green circle. They have right of way coming into the gate. So the cross is done and the Swedish challenge they swap positions and go to the lead again ahead of Yayo Team Dutch Sail. Follow through, it'll be Sail Team Barcelona, you can see there. But Australia have, have had a good upwind leg. 
this little wind at the top. They'll be going through the gate, almost Simo with Sail Team Barcelona. Heading to the finish of race eight in Group B, and it has been a day out on the water for the Swedish challenge powered by Artemis. Four races start, and look at that, four races won. Look out, America's Cup teams, here comes Sweden. Yayo Team Dutch Sail locked themselves in into Friday's semi-finals for the second position, and so do Sail Team Barcelona. They withstood the pressure, and that's your top three. They're off to Friday's semi-finals. And do Team Australia. They had their opportunities, and they will finish fourth in the race and just below the cut line. So there's the first semi-finalists in the inaugural Pooch Women's America's Cup. Sweden, the Netherlands, and Sail Team Barcelona.